Hi, this is Lewis with Farming Smarter and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about our field scale precision canola trial today. Um, so this is, uh, this is a field trial that fits into our field tested program and, and what that is, is, is field tested is an opportunity to evaluate products, technologies, practices, ideas, uh, in a field setting, so we're working with we're working with farmers. We're using their equipment, so it really is a, a good opportunity to to take some of the compelling results, the promising results we've seen in small plot research, and evaluate whether what we've seen in the small plot uh, in a more controlled environment actually holds true in more of a real world setting. Uh, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about our precision canola trial. So. Farming Smarter completed a three-year trial um, looking at planting canola with precision planters. Uh, the biggest factor we looked at was the, the cedar itself. So we looked at a 12-inch row um, planter, monosem planter, a 20-inch row monosem planter, and then an air drill as well. And out of the small plots, what we found was that the narrow rows, the 12-inch rows, really performed well, especially relative to the 20-inch rows on the planter. Uh, so what we wanted to do, what we've done moving forward with this project, uh, is we're looking at how these, how this equipment performs in a field scale. So there's there's a few different dynamics when we when we scale things up, uh, and we want to prove that that things kind of hold true. So from a from a field scale research standpoint, there there there've been a few challenges with this trial. Um, first of all, most of the planters that are out there are are set on those 20 or 22 inch rows. So so firstly, it, it has been challenging finding uh, field scale planters that are on narrower rows. So, so we've, we've lined up a few on 15 inch rows, which is a little wider than the 12s that we used with our, with our small plot research, but I think they should, uh, they should be a, a really good comparison. Um, the other piece that's been a real challenge has been the fertilizer component. So with our small plot research, we've been able to apply uh, urea as well as liquid phosphorus, um, with seed, with our plot, uh, plot planter, but most field scale planters aren't equipped to, to put down fertilizer with seed. So when we're comparing an air drill that bands in, in fertilizer with a planter that, that only puts in seed, it sort of limits our option a little bit. And what, what we've done is we've either broadcast ahead of time or we put in fertilizer ahead of time or we've worked on land that uh, has pretty good background fertility. So. You know, there's a lot of um, cattle production here, so so fields that have been applied with manure often don't need a lot of foss um, or don't need any foss and might need a little bit of nitrogen. So that's something that we've that sort of narrowed our options. Um, so we seeded we seeded uh, we seeded a field just a couple days ago, and everything went really well. We had the we had the planter come in and we had the the air seeder come in, and and what we did was we we kind of mapped out everything ahead of time, had everything planned, and and. Um, everything went really well, so it, it was really exciting to be able to see see those planters um, working at a field scale and, and you know performing just the way just the way we expected them. Um, certainly from a seeding standpoint, uh, based on our small plot research. Uh, and, and if we when we went in, we looked at some of the seed rows. The seed placement was uniform, so every seed was you know an inch apart, two inches apart, depending on the rates we used. Uh, so what we did for rates, we looked at 160 and 320 seeds per acre, uh, and depending on kernel weight, that's roughly two and four pounds an acre. So um, two pounds an acre with the planter, four pounds an acre with the planter, two pounds an acre with the air drill, and four pounds with the air drill. So we're going to come back and visit these sites throughout the year. Our, our first visit will be early emergence, and we're going to take a look at what are some of the differences in emergence. We'll come back later in the season and see how establishment looks. So do we have uniform plant stands or more variable perhaps with the air drill? Um, what, what does flowering look like? Does everything flower at the same time? Is that variable? And, and what we expect to see is a lot more uniformity, better emergence with the planter, more uniformity with the planter, and, and a good chance of a better yields based on our small plot research. So we're really excited to see how things, how things shake out with this. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for, thanks for listening.